accessories. So as you can tell by the title, this is yet another workout with me. I got a lot of good reviews on my first one, which was like a leg and butt day workout, and I thought I would kind of make this into a little series. It's not going to be an every day, every week type of deal. It's just going to be whenever I feel myself working out or I know I'm going to get a really good workout in, so I want to show you guys, and I thought it would just be a good idea. I obviously am not a professional fitness person. I'm just a teenage girl that likes to go to the gym, I like to work out, and I know I get a lot of questions about how I live my healthy lifestyle, what I do at the gym, yada yada yada. So I thought I would just make these videos for you. This is a workout with me. It's what I do. It's what works for me. It might not work for you. It might not be as effective, but it's simply just like a reference or inspiration for you guys to do certain workouts or certain moves. So if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me below in the comments. Also, you can comment certain types of workouts that you want, whether it be arms or abs or legs. I don't really care. But otherwise, if you're ready to get into the workout, then keep on watching. So I am once again starting off my workout on the treadmill. I like to start off with cardio to get my heart pumping, my blood flowing, and basically just to warm up my body. So I started off with 10 minutes on the treadmill at an incline of 15 and a speed of about 3.8, 3.9. And basically, I like to do cardio as well on ab days, especially walking in the elliptical because it really helps to burn like belly fat and helps to work the core, especially the elliptical here. The elliptical honestly is not my favorite and this one actually was broken so I had to move on to the other elliptical machine. But uh, I like the elliptical because the movement of both your arms and legs in that like running formation really helps to work your core. And I just did 10 minutes on the elliptical, and they have like levels, so I just put mine to level 10. I don't really like machines for abs, because I feel like it doesn't work the whole core, but we did get this newer machine in my gym that I wanted to try out. So basically, you just hold onto these straps, and there's weights attached, and then you bend over forward, and it's kind of like you're doing a crunch of some sort. I'm not sure how I like it so far, I kind of have to work on it some more, but I definitely felt it, so I guess it means it was working. Now we're moving on to the room. This is basically just a room in my gym that I always seem to have, it's always empty, so I'm just going to always reference it as the room. So this is my favorite ab workout by far. You just get one of these like inflatable workout balls and then you do crunches on them. I swear this is like the best move for abs. This is how I believe I got my abs before because it works the entire core as you can see. It allows you to extend your core all the way back around the ball and then push all the way back up. And you also have to balance yourself which works the core as well. So as you can see, my hands are on my head. I'm not using this to pull up my neck though. I'm simply using this just to not have my neck be strained. And then I move straight on to a different exercise, which in this case just happens to be twists. So I'm holding this medicine ball, which is 14 pounds, and just twisting side to side. Doing two exercises in a row back to back is called a superset. So basically I do the crunches and then move straight on to the twists and take a small break in between. I did 20 reps of the ball crunches and then 30 reps of the twist. And for those of you who don't know, when I say rep, it just means repetition, which is the amount of times that you do a move. So I'm doing the ball crunch 20 times, which would be 20 reps. And then I do that two times over, which would be two sets of 20 reps. Next, we're moving on to this little ab combination. So if you know anything about music and counts, basically there's usually an eight count, but in this case, I'm doing two eight counts of each move. So I'm gonna do each type of crunch 16 times and then move on to the next type of crunch. So I'm first starting off with 16 normal crunches, then I move on to 16 tabletop crunches where basically your knees are just in a 90 degree angle. Then I put my legs straight up and do 16 of those. Then I do some toe touches. Then I just straddle my legs. This is obviously not for everyone. If you're not comfortable doing this, don't go for it, but it really does work the lower abs. 
then you can't really tell but I just have my legs in the butterfly position so basically just my knees are open then for the last two moves I just turn to my side and do some side crunches the reason why I do all the different leg movements and body positions because it works the different parts of the abs so the upper middle and lower parts of your abs by moving your legs in different positions Sorry I'm literally like 10 miles from the camera, but next I'm doing an oblique move when obliques are just the sides of your core where your stomach kind of curves in. So basically you just take a weight, I have 20 pounds of a kettle bell here, and you just lift it side to side up and down with your core. You want to make sure you're not only moving your arm or your shoulder, you want to completely tilt over to the side using all of your core muscles you will really feel it if you're not feeling it you're not doing it right and it wouldn't be a true ab day without planks so basically i'm just setting my timer on my phone here to a minute and just doing a plank for a minute straight I'm not a big fan of planks, I kind of get bored of them and then I get like antsy and I don't like staying in the same position, but planks are honestly one of the greatest moves for your overall body, not just your core, so if you can do some planks, I would do them. And then still in that plank position, I'm just twisting my hips side to side to once again work my obliques. Then I set my timer again for another minute and I'm doing side planks 30 seconds on each side. I probably could have gone longer but by this point I was pretty tired and I was like 30 seconds is enough. And we made it to the final moves. So for the end I just did a superset starting off with these leg lifts into like butt lifts. Basically a leg lift, you're supposed to keep your legs straight all the way down, but I have pretty bad hips. They kind of pop and crack if I keep them straight, so I just bend my knees a little bit. But make sure you still feel it in your lower abs. And then by lifting your butt up at the top, it just really completes it all the way up to the upper abs. So I did 20 of these. And because this was a super set, I just moved on to my next move, which was a V crunch. Basically, you just kind of sit on your butt and crunch and you look like a V. That's the best I can describe it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout with me. If you try it out or even any of the moves, make sure to comment below and see how you liked it, how you felt. And otherwise, make sure you stay tuned to my next video. Bye. Feels good right here.